Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to point out, because the comment was made earlier about the Trump uh, tax cuts, whether you calculate that at $2 trillion or $1.5 trillion, that is either $150 billion over each year for 10 years. I want to point that out, or $200 billion. And I'd also like to point out that our deficit is now $2 trillion a year. So uh, complaining about that is such a small part of the total deficit that we're living with that is now amounting to a trillion dollars every six months. Medicare, Social Security are the drivers of it, so we need to do something if we're going to save them. We never talk about on Social Security, that's fairly easy. You get three or four variables. Do we have the political will to do it if we want to save the system for those that are going to re be retiring down the road? I don't think anybody's worried about the fact that we'll borrow enough money to backfill to get folks nearing retirement or in it. Never hear about the underlying cause of health care costs because of the industry itself. Um, in my own business, I created consumer involvement and transparency for them to work with, and we were able to put a big dent in it. Of course, that's skin in the game. Nobody wants skin in the game anymore. They either want the employer to pay for their health care costs or the government, and that was not that big a deal 30, 40 years ago when it was under 10% of our GDP. Now it's approaching 20% of our GDP. I'd like each one of you to comment on anything we do with taxation. Uh, that is a political endeavor that no one wants to take on. Even when the other side of the aisle, I've had the argument with Senator Van Hollen, we've never been able to generate much more than 18% of our GDP in tax revenue. You raise the rates, you get a little more into the Treasury, your economic growth goes down. So it is doable if we take on the healthcare industry to make them transparent, competitive, that's at big hospitals, insurance, try to get it to where it does what most other industries do. Is that even something that anybody thinks about? You could get probably 10 Republicans interested with maybe all Democrats if it was based on competition and transparency. It would make the cost for government as the payor to come down. And I know it works because it's worked on things like LASIK surgery, it's worked on enterprising private health insurance plans that keep their employees safe from catastrophic risk through injury or illness. Did it in my own company. 15 years ago, we haven't had a premium increase in 15 years. Just using the user or demand side of the equation. I'd like each of you, with a minute, minute and a half, to tell me, is that doable? Do you ever think about it? And why wouldn't that be part of the solution that would help all health care, whether it's Medicare, Medicaid, or through private insurance? Start here. I'll be very quick. The answer is yes. I think a lot can be done in this area. As I said to Senator Johnson earlier, we need to put some structure around the choices, some standardization, and make it absolutely clear to the consumer when they can save some money and when they would benefit. So you got to standardize what they're pricing in the medical services market, not insurance, and you got to standardize insurance too so they can see clearly the premium difference. Right now it's very obscured and complex. And you got to take a lot of the risk out for the patient. It's all got to be win-win for them. Pick a less expensive option, they save money. Sounds like an excellent plan. Uh, the remaining two witnesses, the other side of the aisle, generally looks for more revenue. I've not found an easy way in my nearly five years here to get any new revenue that is going to meet the, uh, the agreement of 60 senators or you'd have to do it through reconciliation. What about reforming the industry? Is that something you'd be interested in? Well, I, I think I'm a little, uh, I'm still an optimist and I actually saw a little bit of cross-partisan agreement around closing a big loophole that affects the Medicare taxes today and that would save around $300 billion dollars over 10 years, and I, I also That's think, only 30 million a year. I, and I think that there is a- And that's a Band-Aid. Your big issue is you're 20% of the GDP currently. So go ahead. 
Well, I think that base broadening is one of the areas where members of both parties have looked to over time, in part because a lot of that you can think of as spending that goes through the tax code. And some of it is very inefficient and ineffective at what it does. And there are very many responsible ways of raising revenues through that approach. I think that we should always be looking for ways to make the program more efficient, to work better, to meet the needs of patients. And I think some of what uh, Dr. Capretta had to say makes a lot of sense. But I would also add the caveat and caution that people, when they are faced with very high medical expenses, which is where most of the costs of healthcare come from, aren't good at making choices. You're in a crisis you're trying to figure out what you're going to get, and we have a very complicated healthcare system that does not work well to provide either information to people or to help them make I think choices. you've just made my case right there. So we're running out of time. I like what you're saying, because that is true. I would offer that if we're gonna do anything in the near term, it's gonna be difficult to raise revenues. We've already done some stuff in our help committee to where taking on reforming the healthcare industry. Remember, the providers are gonna still be there. The government either pays for it or employers do. You make them more competitive, you get rid of the barriers to entry, you harness entrepreneurialism, that's the only way you take it from being 20% of our GDP down closer to what most other countries get it at, which is 12 to 13%. There's room, I think, for bipartisan maneuvering there. And I think, uh, Senator Braun, you have a track record of accomplishing just that. So I do look forward to 